In this video, we're going to look at in this video, we're going to continue our look at Jamboard basics, and we're going to share our Jamboard in Google Meet. Side note, Google is releasing an update very soon for enterprise users, that's a paid version, where this will be launched right in Google Meet. So soon, what I'm about to show you, for some of you will be obsolete. It will be a simple click inside Google Meet. In the meantime, in the last two videos, we went through creating a jam, um, changing its permissions and titling it, and we designed one for a game called Four Corners. We're going to pretend that we would like to be able to share this out. Now, in our very first video, step one, we looked at permissions. So if you missed that, please go back to that video in this series because we've already done that step. We're going to go to share and it says get link. Anyone on the internet with this link can edit. That means that what I'm about to copy, I can give this to anyone on any device and they're going to be able to collaborate on my jam. If your school has imaged your computers, you can make it so that they must be signed in to their Board of Ed account. I find that sometimes this during presentations in particular can be troublesome because not everyone is on their school account, especially when you may use this at a staff meeting. So just be aware of these two options and you do not want to leave these this on view. You want it to be on edit to make it active. Now when it's done, if you want them to stop collaborating with this jam, go right back into the share settings and change it to view. We're gonna leave it on editor and I'm going to click copy link and done. So one more time I went to share, I checked my permissions, I copied the link and I hit done. So now that link is in my computer's memory, I'm going to go into my meet. So I would have this set up ahead of time. At the top of my screen, I have the jam ready. I also have me open. My students or staff come in and I wanna share it with them through the chat. This is a quick and easy way. Anywhere that you can put a link, you can share this jam. So I'm going to click on the chat inside me. And down at the bottom, it says send a message to everyone. I'm going to paste that in. I can right click paste or control V and this arrow sends the message. Don't forget that you have to send the message after you paste it in there. Now, you'll see this is an active link. I instruct my students on how to get to the chat and how to click on the link. And when they do, I'll just show you that it will open next to me. I like to call this touching tabs. So they will hear you, they will not see you, and you can show them how they can frog jump back and forth if they need to. For older students, of course, there's always splitting your screen, which there's a video on that in the series as well. But for now, please remember that all of the students participating should be prompted to click on sticky note, type on type in their name or initials and if you want this to be anonymous maybe have them put in a word that describes them um, an answer to a math problem something you know you don't have to have it show where everyone is going unless that's data you want once they've added one they can change their color they're going to save and then cancel the tool so this gives them a sticky note that they can now use to move around. So as the teacher, you may give them a multiple choice question verbally in Google Meet and ask them to drag their note to A, B, C, or D to indicate what answer they believe is true. You will see right on this screen all of their little notes live moving around. It's a really great way to do exit tickets 
just so you can see where students are at. Want this to be an SEI activity? Maybe change these to emojis. How am I feeling today? Make it anonymous, let them choose. How do I feel about this lesson right now? Okay, on a scale of one to four, or maybe you want it to be, I'm feeling excellent, great, good, or I need more help. You know, you could use Jamboard in so many different ways. And speaking of that, consider doing web searches for templates. There's a ton of templates out there. If you don't have time to make your own, borrow and share. That's what teaching is all about. It's all about collaboration. I hope this series of videos got you one step closer to using Jamboard to increase participation in your Google Meets.